Travis County District Attorney Jose Garza's position could be taken away from him a month after he won the Democratic primary due to a petition filed last month by a Travis County resident calling for his removal. The petition accuses the DA of indiscriminately pressing charges against police, refusing to prosecute lower-level drug crimes, and refusing to prosecute cases related to the state's abortion ban. These George Soros-backed woke DAs are refusing to do the job they were elected to do by the voters. The petition is backed by HB 17, a law signed in by Governor Greg Abbott last June that could potentially allow a DA to be removed from office by an out-of-county judge for refusing to prosecute certain types of illegal activity. The role of a district attorney is to enforce the law not make it. Monday morning, Democratic leaders held a press conference on the steps of the Capitol to denounce the petition. You don't have to agree with every decision of Jose Garza. In fact, you don't have to agree with any decision that Jose Garza has made as district attorney to know that this is wrong. Very, very wrong. These Democratic leaders believe this is a political stunt and believe DA Garza has not participated in any official misconduct. District attorneys are expected to use their judgment to pursue justice, including deciding which cases to prioritize based on the law and local needs. No DA prosecutes all crimes. All DAs use prosecutorial discretion. Accountability is rightfully ensured at the ballot box and Travis County voters have spoken. The process took a step forward. Friday, Abbott appointee Judge Dib Waldrop of Kamal County assigned Bell County Attorney Jim Nichols to the case. He will be the one to prosecute the case against Garza. Garza released a statement the same day saying, quote, Every day our office works to bring justice to Travis County and keep people safe. Last month, a few billionaires and MAGA Republicans and their dark money PAC failed to stop our progress at the ballot box. Now, a month later, their allies are wasting taxpayer money trying to undermine the decision of the voters of Travis County. They failed once and they'll fail again.